what is going on everybody black stang 610 back again with a brand new series here on youtube i want to welcome you all to what is going to be a, a new regular series um based on the vote in the community and i put one out on twitter also of what you guys wanted to see next uh this was actually our live stream uh if you watched our live stream a few weeks ago this was the farm that we started with on there i've done some changes to it and i decided that we we're going to do a dairy farm series so with that said i want to welcome you all to crooked creek dairies um we're actually down here at the larson auction house uh, we're in griffin indiana um wonderful map highly highly recommend if you haven't tried it out um probably one of my top i'm gonna say three all time so far and yeah uh we got uh our neighbor uh mr davis he lent us his silver star and his mac r and we're going to uh pick up some some holsteins and we're taking them to the farm for the first time so come along for the ride uh let's get these guys loaded up yep yep we're gonna do the holsteins okay cool all right got them all loaded in let's hop in the truck and get it warmed up again took them a little bit to get them ready And let's uh let's get back to the farm. Uh this is going to be like I said, this is going to be a new take on the farm sim role play or the let's play style uh where we are I'm going to be giving it, you know, my best shot to kind of, it's not a hardcore survival. Uh, I'll start by saying that, but you know, we're, we're going to give it a go and see what we can do. This is a relatively modest dairy farm. Uh, if you watch the live stream, you have a general idea. I will say some of that has been changed. I actually went through and changed a few things out, made it a little more realistic. Uh, we have all the equipment we need minus some you know bigger pieces of equipment uh so we're starting off with smaller tractors uh smaller maybe you know not well as known instruments uh we're going to be borrowing stuff like what you see here you know borrowing the the big tractor trailer to go get our cows eventually working up to getting our own trailer our own truck and you know just seeing where this series takes us I have to swing this wide with the uh, telephone pole here out into the field a bit. Ooh, I squeeze. Uh, for now, this is going to be a series just on my own. Uh, this has the capabilities of being a a multiple person project, but I wanted to start this off on my own for now. Uh, mossy pine ranch isn't going anywhere you know john and everybody else over there is still gonna help out when they can uh, i just wanted something uh additional i wanted to bring something new to the channel and you know this was an idea that i had and as you can see on our right over there that is crooked creek dairy So we'll get up here this is uh mr davis's property we'll actually be over there in a minute after we drop these uh ooh, these cows off that's a tight squeeze we'll probably drop these off give you guys a tour actually we'll drop these off 
I'll go take the truck back, grab my pickup, because my pickup's over at Mr. Davis's, and then we'll give you a tour and show you everything. All right, let's see. We can get this lined up. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and offload them. And we got cows. Look at that. All right. Now the question is, am I able to swing this? Ooh, we are. Okay, good. All right. I'm going to go take this over, uh, drop this back off to Mr. Davis, and I will grab my truck and I will meet you back here for a tour. Hang tight. All right. We got Mr. Davis's uh, tractor trailer all dropped back off. I head back over let's give you guys a tour of the farm close this up real quick So yeah, like I said, uh, on the right here is actually the dairy barn. Uh, we are starting with 12 cows. Uh, we have pretty much everything we need. You know, we're ready for everything. We have a little fishing pond. You know, we actually have a pump running underground over there to pull water. Uh, so we don't have to worry about water. Come down here. This is our house garage got some equipment there uh the main machine shed got a little storage shed or a garage silage bunker this property is pretty old um i bought this I guess it was about a year ago now. Um, been spending a lot of time, you know, renovating it, getting up, up and running uh, to the point to where we could actually start farming. As you can see, we got some chickens, little chicken coop. They've been doing really well. Uh, we built this pole barn brand new. Uh, the old barn that was here was just in such rough shape. Uh, couldn't be salvaged, unfortunately. Uh, we did renovate the, the silage uh, building over there. Uh, the silo was actually in good shape. And this old like round bunker was in good shape. So we decided to keep it. Uh, yeah, we put up all new fencing around the property. I'll take you guys down here to the back lot uh, we did have to come in here you'll see some tree stumps uh, we actually went in and cleared this path out again it was all overgrown uh, didn't seem like people we honestly didn't even know I didn't know this was in here um, but yeah it came out to this nice you know this was all overgrown I actually got a, a, a leveler in here and kind of scraped everything off the best I could brought it down to rock we we trucked in some uh 
some fine dirt and gravel and whatnot um this needs a little bit of improvement it's kind of a mud pit at the moment but you know what there's some solid buildings out here they were surprisingly still in good shape we threw some some new paint on it uh and you know worked on the doors a little these doors were all pushed in uh we kind of reset those but the the bones of the structures were good uh, and, and then we built you know there was an old dilapidated hay barn here we knocked that down and built it uh and in that whole process we managed to find a well um that you know once we prime that old water pump it it still has water in it we tested it everything's good like it's it's basically a, a spring well <laughs> so that was really cool uh but that's it basically that's that's the farm um we're probably going to use some of this for storage we have a little bit of land so uh let me pull that up for you real quick so if you guys look uh this is the plots of land that we own um i am in the process of negotiating for i don't want to this is a little too pricey this will be something that i purchased down the road uh something here i'm looking at either you know purchasing this plot of land here this little plot of field here or i'm actually looking uh down here i'm just trying to get a better idea with uh the realtor on you know what we can do so yeah with that said uh let's go check on those cows see how they're doing make sure they're getting acclimated and accustomed to their new surroundings they are just little calves so you know they're not going to be really producing anything anytime soon it's going to take a little time but you know they were the best deal i got a bang bang for my buck and uh i think it'll be good doing I probably need some food if I had to guess got some bedding down okay uh yeah let me let me go check their their food see what they need and we'll be right back all right welcome back everybody uh we're actually in the old lodestar uh we're gonna be going down to it's an old barn that the larson zone uh they actually sell uh tmr and i thought mr davis had offered to go down and get some for me but I don't know, it must have slipped his mind and he uh he didn't get to it. So we're gonna head down here. I think it's down this alley. Yes, okay. And uh we're gonna get loaded up with some TMR. Pick this up we'll probably put this hmm i might actually put this in the uh the storage silo for now the... well <laughs> i know i said i wasn't gonna put it all in there but i uh i wanted to see if the truck would actually fit through the the door into the barn and well it took it all 
So we just load offloaded that first load of TMR right into uh, the the feeder for the cows. That'll get us a good start. I feel like as I run into the wall. <laughs> Um, in that case, I will go park this up and I guess we can show you guys some of the equipment. Uh, we have tools, you know, manure spreader, uh, baler. We got a, a bucket there, TMR mixer and our water tank stuff for haymaking and uh just tending you know the fields back this back in here all right uh, yes, yeah, so like I said, this is our main shop. Got ourselves a little mechanic bay. Um, you know, power washer built in. This this place is a lot of investment, but and it's still not perfect. You know, we still need to level out the floors. Uh, as you can see, we have two tractors. Uh, we bought this one used at a farm auction. Uh, right here in town. Uh, cleaned it up a little bit. We use this mainly for um, the bale, you know, hay forks and just kind of general everyday use down on the farm here. And then we got our big boy uh, 8410. This thing will basically do it all. Uh, come out here. We got our little Ford. Got some silage in there. Uh, so we got our little Ford. Actually, we'll fire this up. Take this around. This is mainly just pull the water tank around. Uh, real little light duty stuff. This is an old classic antique. Uh, it was my grandfather's. Oop, wrong side. Uh, and this has kind of been passed down through the family. Uh, my dad and I did a full restoration on this and yeah, now it just kind of lives its life out right here on the farm. As you can see, uh, we got three tractors in here for right now. Uh, we have our challenger, uh, set up. I'm sorry, not challenger JCB. We looked at a challenger. We decided to go with the JCB it was the better deal. Um, this is our, our biggest tractor on the farm, uh, but this is mainly used for mowing. Uh, it's relatively underpowered for the size. It'll go basically anywhere. It's just kind of, uh, you know, it, it, I don't want to call it a entry level. It's not, but it's a good brand. It's a good JCB, you know, 8330. Uh, we got the Vicar. I'm sorry, Vicon. Um, on the back, you know, and front, dual mowers. It gets, it does a phenomenal job mowing. Uh, here we have our 7410 John Deere. This was actually my father's, uh, which was, you know, passed down to me when he retired. Um, and then, of course, the old International 1586. Uh, this thing I actually found used online. It was in immaculate shape. Uh, the guy wanted a good amount, you know, for it. I actually talked him down. Uh, this has been my personal tractor for, oh, uh, going on probably a decade. Um, working on, on my dad's farm and, you know, when when he retired and i moved out here this was one of the few items this the ford you know my pickup uh that came with me so yeah that's basically um what we got here 
Let's turn this around. Got some silage equipment there. You guys already saw my old Ford pickup. Uh, it's a 72 F100. Again, something that my dad and I restored. I love that thing. Uh, we don't have any equipment down in the garage right now, so I'll take you down back. Just give you a quick look at what we got down there. Things I really need to get, uh, we need to get a truck and trailer for the cows. You know, when we're ready to expand, uh, we're going to need to get some equipment for like silage. We have the TMR mixer. I want to just get some better equipment for silage making things like that. Like we have this thing. It works. It's kind of beat up. It's kind of run down. I actually parked it out here because I was going to try to work on it a bit. It's an old New Holland, uh, like forage harvester. Um, we hooked this up to, you know, that Gale box wagon and it, it worked. It didn't work great. <laughs> so we're going to work on getting that fixed up. Uh, we got my old trailer in there. Um, that's just, you know, 30 foot deck. These are actually the bales uh, from the, the field out front there. We bailed them up and then we got our JCB uh, telehandler with a, a bale fork on it. We are actually waiting on a bucket to come in as well as a fork uh, pallet, you know, pallet lift. That will make life a lot easier. Uh, we have some buckets on tractors, but you know, that thing will be able to take a much larger bucket and once that happens i will probably bring that up onto the main main plot and uh we'll use that to feed the cows you know grab silage from the barn tmr from the barn and feed the cows so guys with that said uh that pretty much covers our first episode of crooked creek I appreciate you all. If you haven't already, make sure you drop that like, hit that subscribe. Uh, like I said, we are not dropping the Mossy Pine Ranch series. You will still see that. Uh, this is just a, a new accompanying series, and I, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm looking forward to making it. It's going to be a blast. And with that said, y'all, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.